There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Hallelujah. Let's give God a Holy Ghost praise. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praises. Amen. Amen. You have just tuned in to NEXT. Those acronyms mean new experiences exemplifies today. We are the examples that God have chose to use today. Amen. To heal you, to minister to you, to touch you. Uh, whatever you stand in need of on today. So we just thank God for being back in the studio. Amen. Uh, my, I, my, my co-host is producer is not with us today. So we want to give a shout out to Dr. Betty Von Evans from Storehouse International Ministry. We miss you. We miss you. We miss you. Amen. But I am blessed to have two guests with me today. We have Assistant Pastor Classy M. Wilson, my assistant pastor of the Greater Faith Institutional Church, Hallelujah. Assembly of the World's Ministry. God bless you for taking out the time to fellowship with us. Amen. amen. And we also have Sister Rosalind Ryder with us. Amen. And she's a beautiful young lady, an entrepreneur. Amen. And you're going to hear from both of these ladies on today. Amen. But before we go into our uh, teaching on today, man. We also want to lift up uh, Elder Frank Burns, amen, and his staff. They allow us to come into your living rooms, your computer, amen, amen. social media, wherever you are privileged to hear us and see us, amen. All of that comes, that clarity comes from this awesome team, Elder Frank Burns and Brother Leon. God bless you all, amen, here at the studio. Amen. So we're going to go to a moment of prayer. Amen. We want to bless what God is going to do today. So Pastor Class, if you'll lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you. Yes. We come to you praising you and worshiping you, God. Lord, we know that you are a God of, that is faithful. We know that you are a God of strength, God, and you are a God of love. And God, even right now, God, we just ask you to just touch each and every person tuning in, Father God. Touch each and every person here. God, touch us, Lord. Lord, allow us to do all that you have called us to do, Father God, Lord, for you know every need, God. You are omnipotent, God. You are all-knowing, Father God. Lord, we just thank you even right now because what you are doing, continuing to do, Father God. Lord, we thank you for being our shepherd, our Alpha and our Omega, our God, Elohim, yes. Alba, our Father, mm. El Shaddai, yes. uh, Hallelujah, Jehovah Rapha, Adonai, mm. Jesus Christ, Master and Savior. God, we ask you to lift up, Hallelujah, every city, every Every state, hallelujah, internationally. God, those Amen. that are going through right now, Lord. Lord, we speak healing mm, over our land yes, even right now, Lord, God. Lord. Lord, all of these shootings and massacres and blood shed, Father God. Lord, we ask you to heal the bereaved families even right now. God, I ask you to pour out your spirit onto all flesh, Father God. Lord, we ask you even right now to direct their paths, Father God. Mm. Lord, open their eyes, Father yeah. God. Lord, touch them from the crown of the head to the sole of their feet, God. Let them know that you are a God that will never leave them or forsake them, God. And Lord, we ask all these blessings in yes. your daughter's son Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 We thank Pastor Classy M. Wilson. She's a songwriter, recording artist, amen, and so, so much more, amen, for that beautiful prayer. Again, we thank God for each and every one of you all, our listeners, our supporters, amen. If it wasn't for you, it would be no us, amen. Amen. But uh, Pastor Classy and Sister Rosalyn, um, I hear a little <laughs> song before I go into what we talk about. Amen. Because of who you are, I, I give you glory. glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, I will lift my voice and say, yes. Lord, I worship you 
Because of who you are, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, Hallelujah. my provider, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Nissi, Lord, you reign, Lord, you reign in victory, Jehovah Shama, my Prince of Peace, my Prince of Hallelujah. Peace, Lord, I worship, worship you. you. Because of who you are. You are. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I had to sing just a little bit of that because I'm telling you, we have been on the highways and the byways <laughs> and just this morning feeling like the five heartbeats. Amen. <laughs> I mean, we were running for our lives yes. this morning. All of us. Amen. amen. But God is an on time God. So our program is called Next. Amen. So we always start off with talking about what's next in our lives, amen? Mm -hmm. uh, I am overseer, Dr. Chief Apostle Bishop Rosa Rosita L. Wilson, the pastor of the Greater Faith Institutional Church Assembly of the World's Ministry located right here in San Antonio, Texas, amen? So you are welcome to come and fellowship with us anytime. But with my two guests here, I want to start with Sister Rosalyn because she has a wonderful uh, event coming up. We are so excited in July. Mm -hmm. So Sister Rosalyn Ryder, talk a little bit about what's next yes. in your life and talk about that great event. We want to invite them to come out. Yes. Well, I am excited to talk about it. This is our second year bringing this event. Um, it is called Goodies for Your Hoodies. Goodies for Your Hoodies, uh, our core of our ministry is for aging out foster care youth here in the community. Mm -hmm. We are on the streets, we are talking to these kids and we're wanting to make a difference. We are making a difference. And so for Goodies for Your Hoodies, we bring you goodies, you bring us your brand new unused hoodies. We have events for the entire family. It is a faith-based event. So that means that the family can come out and just enjoy themselves. We're not getting enough of those activities here in the community. Mm -hmm. And so we wanna make sure that this is an event that the family can come out. Our kids zone area is free for the children. We wanna make sure that the parents are not digging deep in their pockets, trying to satisfy the kids. The kids can just run around freely. Mm -hmm. We have already uh, taken care of our security awesome. and the things that we need to make sure that we have. We have lots of volunteers, but we'd love to have you Amen. as a volunteer as well. Um, we have live music. We have food trucks that are gonna be out there. So we are asking you to come on out. Um, my number is 210-446-8663. Please feel free to call, leave a text message. If I don't answer, it probably means I'm talking to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And then the event is from 2 to 8 p.m. And Sister Rosalind, what is the date for this awesome event? I'm Goodies so glad you asked. I love, mm -hmm. I love, I love her, mm -hmm. her, her organization's uh, name, you know, because names let us know what's coming out of that office. Yes. Goodies for hoodies, amen. Mm -hmm. Good, you bring the hoodies. And, and we have the goodies, yes, amen? Yes, Go ahead. So what what uh, what date is that? I'm glad you asked. July the 30th, it is the last Saturday of the month. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it uh, we, we did that intentionally. That's a great way for families that are, are still coming out of a busy school season. Mm -hmm. And it's also preparing for soon school will be beginning again. I know you don't wanna hear that, but it is gonna <laughs> be around the corner. Uh, I, I didn't mention we're going to have uh, some of the college, college of Cosmetologies want to come out. They're going to be doing f some free haircuts, free manicures. Awesome. We have hey, mascots hey, hey. that's going to be walking all around, entertaining the kids. We have NFL players. We have a uh, beauty pageant young mm -hmm. ladies that's going to be out there. We have so much things, so many things to offer you. Just come on out and have a good time with us. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Sister mm -hmm. Rosalind. And uh, you heard free haircuts, some NFL football players are going to be there. Well, I tell you what, Greater Faith Institutional Church is going to be there. Yes. We have a movement called Stop in the Name of Love Movement. Amen. We come against gun violence, mm -hmm. domestic violence, hatred, racism, any injustice. We will be there to support Amen. Sister Rosalind Ryder. And that event, amen. 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 Yes. Uh, we have my assistant pastor, Classy and Wilson. She has some things in the oven right now. Talk a little bit about that. Um, you know, you're getting ready to break bread with these children and that 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 office or that event uh, that you're getting ready to get started. You got things that's already started, but I know you ha your heart is working with these young people, amen. amen. Uh, uh, in that, in night to conquer, but you had that other one for the children that you're getting ready to get started. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I'm thankful to be here today. Um, I have uh, started a ministry called Go Forth and Ignite Conquerors. Uh -huh. And um, we, I was able to... Uh, preach at a, a, men, a men of valor conference in dallas we just uh closed out glory to god we're getting ready um right now um in august for our uh, our co-ed 25th um co-ed conference at greater faith institutional church amen, amen. also in october we'll be at a um a a veterans uh rally standing up for our veterans you know um people that also have lost people in the military mm -hmm. also we are birthing a new um church um, in an apartment complex mm -hmm. um, dealing with the children after school things um, when they get out of school being able to have resources there worship activities fun and food amen really just trying to help um, the families in the area glory to God um, mm -hmm. our target is um, helping single families mm -hmm. as well as uh, two parent homes mm -hmm. right now we know in our world we're dealing with a lot of, of lack you know a lot of poverty we have a lot of mental illness going on um we have a lot of trauma and so um i believe that i am a midwife i believe i am a restorer but mm -hmm. most of all god has called me to ignite a people to know that they can conquer anything that they put their oh, mind man. to because mm -hmm. i too have had to conquer many things amen and so um i believe not on my watch no woman boy a man <laughs> a daughter left behind amen amen to god be the amen. glory amen, amen. thank amen. you pastor classy so you heard what's next is going mm -hmm. on in these two powerhouses two powerful mighty women of god that god have anointed also what you don't know about sister rosalyn sister rosalyn also teaches young boys and girls mm -hmm. how to drive god have anointed <laughs> yes. her to have have the patience with your children yes, to teach them yes, how to drive. Yes, As a yes. matter of fact, she's going to be teaching my 16 yes. year old grandson, <laughs> Brother Cameron Dominion, yes, is going to be learning how to drive under her. Uh, tutelage. Amen? Amen. So so I'm just excited. A little a little bit what's happening with Greater Faith because I am the overseer. Amen. Mm -hmm. Pastor Classy touched it a little bit. We will be celebrating our 25th annual GFIC Bridges co-ed conference 25 years amen that's a quarter amen. of a century and we'll be celebrating that the second weekend of august amen second weekend of august amen and our theme is don't look back amen i don't want to get too much into that <laughs> amen we have some mighty speakers these two ladies on the panel pastor classy and sister rosalind they will be involved in the conference but again this is our gfic bridges that sponsor this amen amen if you would like to be one of our gfic bridges god have allowed me to birth a group of women all ages baby bridges junior bridges mm -hmm. Uh, teenage bridges, uh, middle aged bridges, old bridges like me, <laughs> hallelujah, uh, seasoned bridges, hallelujah. But if you like to be a bridge, a lot of girls may not go to college, amen. Uh, and even when you go to college, are you still connected with your university? God said, I want you to create a sorority of, of Christian women mm -hmm. and teach those, those girls how to be women of God and teach those women how to be women of God. So uh, there, there, it's a co-ed conference. We have <laughs> men and women that will be ministering in the conference uh we have a flyer that's already prepared to go out but again if you want to be a part of this wonderful celebration 25 years uh we would love to have you join with us we also have a a, a souvenir booklet amen uh we go out and we raise we raise the finances for that so if you want to put an ad in our booklet we would love to have you participate many ways you can participate so i don't want to talk too much about that i want to go into the word of god and we have a part one and we have a part two so right now we're going into part one if you would take your uh open your bibles or Amen. your cell phones or your heart your minds to psalms 27 mm -hmm. verse 13 and it will be on your screen for your reading pleasure mm -hmm. but psalms 27 and 13 says um it says, make sure I'm there. It says, I had fainted. Mm -hmm. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm -hmm. In other words, I, I could have fainted. Mm -hmm. I could have stopped. I could have given up if I did not see the goodness of God. So today's topic is 
see the goodness. Mm -hmm. Because so many people now are seeing all of the evil and wickedness and violence that's going on in the, in the world. God wants us to stay focused. He that keeps his mind stayed on Jesus keeps his mind in perfect peace. We cannot stop the, the outer environment, mm. but what we can protect is our inner man. Amen. And that's the Holy Ghost, that's the power. Amen. So so the author said, I would have fainted unless I saw the goodness, amen? amen. So you gotta get to a place like, like Nehemiah, he said, he said, you almost persuaded me. Mm -hmm. When God told Nehemiah to go and rebuild, and he was on the wall. Nehemiah said, you almost persuaded me. You almost made me come off the wall. You almost made me give up my dream. You almost made me set down my vision. You almost made me not call that woman or that or that man. Amen. <laughs> See, because God is a connector. And God Thank is the you, author Lord. and finisher of our faith. Mm -hmm. And so today, ladies, we're going to talk about see the goodness. Mm -hmm. Now, the world and the news they are necessary. That's right. yeah. They're doing what they're doing. We're mm -hmm. in this world, but we're not of this world. But we want to focus on seeing the goodness. Amen. So we got all of this evil and wickedness going on. We got high gas prices. We have uh, Ukraine uh, uh, shootings. We have uh, Uvalde shootings. My team, Stop in the Name of Love Movement, we went there on Thursday. And knowing the voice of God is so important because I, I was supposed to do something on last Thursday and that fell through. And I told my team we was going to go ahead and go to Dallas on Thursday, a day earlier. And God spoke to me. He said, no, you're not. You're going to Uvalde. Mm. And we went to Uvalde. And I'm telling you, I really can't explain the anointing that was there. And uh, so many people were there. We began to pray. And as I prayed, when I came to, people had gathered and joined us in prayer, touched mm -hmm. us on our shoulders. And then when I walked around and other people were praying, we joined forces with them and we prayed. And I asked everybody there, what is the census and what does you bow to need? Everybody gave me the same answer. Mm -hmm. They said, we need prayer. Mm, Just thank pray you, for us. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until I went to a certain part of the ground where the children's pictures were laid in rows, and they have many of it all over Uvalde. Mm -hmm. And I remember feeling such a heaviness. And, and I remember hearing the cries. I could see the tears of the children. And God spoke to me. He said, Abel still cries from the ground. I said, Abel. And God is always going to make it familiar. He said, the children are crying from the ground. Their blood cries from the ground. Mm. And when I heard that, God said, that's why I sent you here. It is too much work to be done. We need to see what God wants us to see. We need to say what God wants us to say. So now we're seeing those shootings. We had the shootings, what, in, in Buffalo, New York. And just this week, we had three or four young ladies were on 410 by North Star Mall. The one the girls had they had graduated just last week, amen. And someone shot up both the cars. Mm. Three girls were rushed to the hospital, uh, critical condition. Two mm. of them are deceased. One is still fighting for their lives. Now we can see all of these things that are of the world. That's fine. God wants us to see them. But these things are not greater than God and God's anointing. Amen. These things are not greater than God's vision and victory for us. Amen. amen. Uh, there was another shooting a man um in dallas texas where there was a police officer shot a gunman that was getting ready to possibly shoot up a camp full of children there's there's so many things we can look at there's poverty there's there's racism there's domestic violence there's gun violence yes we can focus on those things and 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 and, and retreat back into our cubby holes but what would that profit god or god's people mm -hmm. so today our message is see the goodness Amen. See the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. So, Pastor Classy, take a little bit of that. See the goodness of God. What does God want us to see today? What should we be looking at as a child of the king? How can we encourage <laughs> God's people to look on those things which are above, like Paul said? Amen. Um, I believe that God wants us to truly understand that we are worthy. Mm -hmm. of his goodness. 
Um, he wants us to totally understand who he is. Mm -hmm. I believe God allows things so we can be reminded of who who he is and what he is doing and that we are worthy of his goodness. We are worthy of his love. We are worthy of his protection because if we are living and we still have breath and life, um, it's in the inhale Amen. and exhale. Amen. You're still here to be able to see all of these things. You better know that you are protected by God. One thing I was just speaking to um, a brother about was was that all the graduates that graduated in the year of 2022, yes. I'm blessed to have a Talk son that it. just graduated right, from Justin High School. My grandson. I know what he went through Talk about it. Um, mm -hmm. this whole year of being in isolation, having to do school from home, then having to be readjusted to be around people to go back to school, mm -hmm. the mental trauma, mm -hmm. you know, um, hearing about uh, friends that have passed from COVID, mm -hmm. hearing about friends that have passed from mass shooting, Mm -hmm. having the lockdowns. Now, when we were in school, we all we had was a fire drill, <laughs> yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, and a fist <laughs> fight. Come, yeah. on, come on. And so they're going through so many things. So any child that graduated in 2022 or any adult that graduated mm -hmm. from college or mm -hmm. whatever, any graduate in 2022, yeah. I, don't, I know what, what you went through to really conquer. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so um, I, 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 I commend you. And that is mm -hmm. seeing... Amen. God's the goodness, goodness. Yeah. because Amen. even though Come evil on. is all around mm -hmm. you, God is still faithful mm -hmm. and you are worthy of the good things. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And, 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 and Pastor good. Classy, you know, the author really wants us to dig in this Psalms 27, 13. Mm -hmm. He specifically said, I had fainted. Mm -hmm. If I had fainted mm -hmm. before I saw the goodness, yeah. so many people that were connected to me, mm -hmm would have not fulfilled their purpose in mm -hmm. God. So this one go to you, uh, uh, Sister Rosalind. You know, if you had not, if you had fainted, your ministry, oh, man. July the 30th, would not be in effect if you had fainted. Mm. But God allowed you to stay focused. Now, we're not saying that, that you didn't have trouble in your oh, way. We're not saying that Come you on. didn't have trials and tribulations. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about, about how you got to July 30th. You know, but but you had to see Come on. the oh, goodness. Oh, because it, it was bigger than you. Oh, yeah. Come on, talk to me. First of all, I got to hold back the tears. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> oh, let them roll. Let them roll. Yes, oh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Cause that's the that's the gratitude and and the thankfulness <laughs> yes, of knowing God did it. You know, even as as I was listening to this talk, you know, the word that just kept kept coming to me was purpose, purpose. <laughs> and then you said purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, what we have to know is that God created us all here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. And there's no person here, you know, the enemy has a way of making you feel like you don't belong or that mm -hmm. or that you um, are not worthy. But you need to know that there is a purpose here for you. And whether it's you looking in the mirror or whether it's someone else who has to speak to you and tell you that to call those things that be not as though they are. Mm, you yes. might not be there right now, <laughs> but the beauty of the God that we serve is that he knows where you're supposed to be. Mm. He knows what he's called you to be. That's mm -hmm. right. And you know, just like you said, we we can see and we can get um, distracted by the things that are going on around us. Mm -hmm. But you have to slow down because, you know, you mentioned about this event. For eight years, when I lived in Colleen, Texas, I did block parties. And little did I know that the block parties and the passion that God created in me then was for today mm. and for this time and for this season. Um, I'm still in the military. I've been in 25 years. I re-enlisted for six Amen. more years yes. and yes. I have four years left. And I was a military training instructor. And people used to ask me all the time, what happens to the kids that get kicked out? Mm. Good and, question. and in a very arrogant response, I'd say, I don't know, that's not my lane. So God made it my lane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He gave me the job of being concerned about the kids who were getting kicked out. And what I discovered was there was a lot of depression. 
Mm. Talk about it, because we're healing people Oh, my today. goodness. There was a lot of depression. These kids were scared the to call children. home to tell their parents. Wow. These kids were in a very bad place, and we were containing them until we released them. Yes. And I was going home crying every day. Mm. And and just to, you know, make a, 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 a short, you know, um, thing of what happened was I started looking around bringing in different services for these kids. And uh, the military allowed me to be able to send these kids to Job Corps. Amen. Mm. So I was able to redirect them, send them to Job Corps. But when that season ended, mm. I felt like empty nest. Mm. I didn't know what to do. And I had some sisters in my life that said, you do know that that's your ministry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was able to go out in the streets mm. and go to some of these communities talk to these kids about Job Corps wow. and give them a little bit of hope. Amen. Because everybody don't want to go to college. Yeah, that's right. That's why I build the GFIC bridges. Amen. Women Amen. a sorority because everybody may not go to college. Mm. Everybody may not be college material. That's right. And the author, David, is saying, he said, he said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness. And the Bible says that we shall reap in due season if we faint not now we don't know the season only god mm. knows the season mm. whether it's winter spring summer or fall mm -hmm. and today we don't the season don't even look like the season no anymore. it does not right. and that's why we have to walk by faith the conference we were just in the men of valor bishop sean denard yancey and first lady uh chantel yancey pastor chappelle pastor frank burns uh deacon doc dexter sattler the money doctor we were all there ministering in the body of christ mm -hmm. but 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 we have to we have to walk by faith we have to walk by faith when god tells us something he said my sheep know my voice and a stranger we will not follow Amen. so we have to trust the voice that's speaking to us and so in your case sister rosalind god allowed you to go through that and see that hurt and pain of these children mm -hmm. because military they go in at 18 years old i uh, i our second part i'll talk more about it because i have a nephew that went in that i raised yes. and he didn't turn out so well mm -hmm. so we're getting ready to to close out this segment and we're going to come back in we're going to pick back up where we left off but today's topic is see the goodness amen see the goodness of god in the midst of of so much chaos Paul says, every time I try to do good, every time I try to do good, this is somebody's story, evil is always present. That's right. So it's not your fault, don't blame yourself, mm -hmm. but your focus is on the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. God don't want you to look at your weaknesses, he wants you to look at his strength. That's right. God don't want you to tell him about your problems, God wants you to tell your problems about your God. Oh yes. Who am I talking to today? So. We're coming back with part two. We love you. Ain't a thing you can do about it. In mm -hmm. Jesus' name, be blessed. Smile. Let's give God a praise.
Break every chain, break every chain. 